完成終わったぜ So I got this Acura MP41DS from Bodega and arrived in Sydney not too long after that. About a week. Pretty fast. The tax. Uh, so the P41DS for fall winter 21-22. It's got 12 pockets in total. Quick look. It's too bright. Here is quick look at this. Yeah, I love the shape. First impressions. I love that like how it's slightly baggy up here and then it carried sort of like got this curved taper kind of like shape that comes down here yeah so today I'm actually gonna go out to meet up with my friends Mina and Jong and yeah, we're gonna have ramen we will put this pants to a field test look to be honest I don't really like doing this in-depth reviews of you know pants NANI? OMAE WA MOU SHINDEIRU you know, I'm gonna try to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible. First impressions, I like it so far. I'm going to put it on, but you know, what I think later on about how it feels, how it fits, how it looks. And isn't that better, right? Because we all know it's made out of shoulder dry skin. I think one of the main things you wanna know about this pants is how does it feel, how does it fit, how does it look and fit. If you've owned pants that's made out of dry skin in the past, then you'll know how it shoulder dry skin feels and yeah let's see how it looks on this short guy here going to pick up Mina and Jong headed to Newtown I'll see you guys in a bit field test baby field test let's get it a few moments later Hey Mina! <laughs> go, go, go. Hey Jong! Hey Ralph! So much strappy. Oh, no, only when you get to Frederick Street, but yeah, I was just like really late. Filipino time. Yeah. It's recording right now. Yeah. Hey guys. What's up? It's Mina. Hey Jong. Alright, so I can't wait to have ramen. I haven't had ramen in ages. One of the things that I miss during lockdown yeah. is ramen. And you know what they say, hashtag no ramen, no life. But also, you're making ramen. <laughs> okay, I like it. Was, I had ramen. Ooh, experts, experts. <laughs> you had it here. <laughs> A few moments later. Alright, so we're now here in Newtown. Well, what's up? Maybe oh, we can go there. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. So we're headed to Taka. Man, I keep forgetting what the. Ah, oh, that's right. So, Mina, I keep forgetting the name. Taki Taki Sushi, right? All right. So we're headed. So we're now headed to Sora Ramen and Taki Sushi. I don't know in, if that's the correct order, or is it Taki Sushi and Sora Ramen? <laughs> Whatever. We're everything there now. And but before that. So we're at Sora Ramen and Take Sushi. We're about to go inside. <laughs> excited. Are you guys excited to have ramen? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds exciting, guys. You guys sound excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so to be honest, guys, I was a bit skeptical going to this place because normally when you have ramen in an izakaya or ramen with sushi, nine out of ten times, it's okay or not good at all. 
because normally when we go for ramen, we go to a specialty ramen shop, and that's how it is. Like whether it's in Japan or here or anywhere else in the world, normally for good ramen, you will have to go to a ramen specialty shop. But um, it's a few Facebook groups, Instagram, everyone that's been here in the last two weeks. They're saying that the Sapporo ramen here is like, amazing. So that's what we're here for. We're here for the Sapporo ramen. I mean, it is called Take Sushi and Sora Ramen, or is it Sora Ramen and Take Sushi? So we can have some sushi too, right? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll have, some, we'll, have some, yeah. We'll, we'll have some sushi too. So, oh, look at that. So, I think that's like the spicy one. And then that the looks like a black garlic. The thing is, Sapporo Ramen normally uses miso as the tare, right? And they have a shoyu Sapporo ramen, which is, which sounds interesting. So, I don't know. Should we go for a normal miso Sapporo ramen, which is a classic Sapporo ramen that uses meat? Yeah, Sapporo ramen uses miso. Or am I wrong? Like, you know, is there actually a shoyu Sapporo ramen? Find out soon. <laughs> we'll find out soon. So, so we're inside Take Sushi and Sora Ramen. Kind of we're inside now. We've made our orders. So every table will have like a barcode that you can scan and then you order via your phone. Via your phone. So since it's both a ramen and sushi place, me, Mina, and Jong decided to order one ramen each. For, well, I ordered two ramen. Because I'm pretty sure you guys want to see as much food, like your, what you can order from this place as much as possible. So I've ordered two ramen. I've ordered a shoyu sapporo ramen and I've also ordered a pantan mazisoba. No, it's not. Yeah. Okay. Mistake. We thought we ordered the mazisoba pantan men, but we ordered the we ordered the soda soy mazisoba. We also ordered some sushi. So we ordered some aburi and salmon roll. We ordered some aburi scallop and salmon roll. We also ordered uh, kingfish carpaccio. Okay, so just a really quick background on this restaurant. So the owner chef is uh, Toshimi Yoshida. Apparently, he grew up in Hokkaido as well. And even the um, ramen master in this shop, Kosuke Take, and he also grew up in Hokkaido. Our kingfish carpaccio just arrived. like a more wavy, I'm used to like wavy, bouncy, thick, you know, Sapporo style noodles. It's more like a python type of broth, it's quite cloudy. Oh man, definitely a lot of mommy in there. It's quite deep, well, not deep shoyu, but it's like the flavors are quite deep. There is some complexity in there. So my shoyu Sapporo ramen has Two slices of chashu, there's half an egg or half an ajitamago, and there's menma. You got the thick noodles going on there too. There's some green onions, there's some bean sprouts. You know, bean sprouts are very common in Hokkaido Sapporo style ramen, so you can have that in there. There's a good amount of oil in there, you need some fat in the ramen. And it's not ramen, it doesn't have fat in it, you need some fat. But, <laughs> Nice and tender. Would have liked it a bit more buttery, but it's tender enough. Oh, I spilled some broth in my pants. But because it's made out of shoulder dry skin, it's dry. Thank you, shoulder dry skin, for keeping me dry. I'm gonna have the aburi salmon and scallop. A little bit smoky. Some nice umami in there. Some tangy notes. Mina got the Hokkaido miso one. This is a little bit of that. 
I like yours better. I like, I like, it. I like Mina's ramen more. I don't know, I've always associated Sapporo or Hokkaido ramen with miso. So that's probably it. And the, the miso is super distinct, man. All because, you know, when I think about Sapporo Hokkaido, it's always miso for me. You know, the very the super cloudy, python like broth that's like heavy in the miso. Just, yeah, it just hits you, you know, in your face. And now I'm about to try there, show you Maze Soba. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Well, get it. Mm. Oh, wow. Definitely a lot of umami in that. It's not salty at all. Perfect amount of saltiness to it. Some deep shoyu flavors in there. Alright, we're gonna go in a bit. Right, gonna go. Um, it's gonna get gelato after this. <laughs> and we'll do more Akron P41 BS review. Still dry, thanks to my dry skin. Pants. Get that? Pun intended, dry skin, still dry. So we're done with ramen and sushi. Now we're having gelato. This like I'm having gelato right now. What do you guys think of the ramen? Mm, it was good. I really like the Sapporo miso. It's really good. We're about to end the video here. Um, quickly about the pants. Kept me dry. Thank you, dry skin. Shoulder dry skin. Keeping me dry. Um, spilled some broth on the pants, but it's all good. It you wipe it off and it comes up straight away. I mean, it is water repellent after all, and been walking around it for a while and it's comfortable. Anyway, I like the pants. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the pants is good. <laughs> that's it. That's it for my review for these pants. Like, what more can I say? Like, I like the brand. Like, I, I like the silhouette. I love how it's slightly curvy. It's got like a slight carrot shape to it. If you taper the bottom part with the zipper, I like that shape. I like the shape of it. I, I like how. The external, there's like external pockets that's not too big compared to what I'm normally used to with acronym pants. Like a lot of acronym pants have got like the big pockets. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you guys like that video. If you guys like that video, please hit that like button. <laughs> subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, please. <laughs> I beg you. No, just kidding. Just, 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 just subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. <laughs> hit that notification bell. <laughs> hit that notification bell so you're up to date with all my videos. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace. Much love. Yes. Catch you in the next vlog. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>